Sunday afternoon. I had plans for this afternoon. I started making this list yesterday. I was actually going to start it yesterday, but we spent a lot of time outside because it was a really pretty day. So I didn't do anything on my list, but I added a lot of stuff to it. And the plan was to do it this afternoon. Titus and Jacob and Tyler are gone. They left just a little while ago to go help somebody haul a horse. And they won't be back until, I don't even know, probably supper time. If not a little bit after supper time, I'm thinking around five or six. So yeah, I was very motivated. I was like, I'm going to knock this entire list out. And there's a lot of stuff stuff on here. But then, just a little while ago, I started having the blind spots and I knew that a migraine was trying to come on. So I quickly took something for that. If you have migraines, you know they can knock you slap out for two days, maybe even three days sometimes. I mean, some people get them really bad and for several days they are knocked down. I'm kind of thankful that I get the blind spots, but when my mama always called them blind headaches, she called them that instead of migraines. She got them. I don't know if she still gets them, but when I was little, she used to get them and she did the same thing. Like she would see blind spots before the headache came on and that's how I do I'll see the spots and I know then that I need to take something right away because when the spots go away that's when the pain comes it's like a um if you get migraines, you know, sometimes they're actually like black spots everywhere. And then other times it's like everything will just be a blur, almost like you have something in behind your contact if you wear contacts. <laughs> you know, if you get something in your contact, it just looks blurry because your eye can't see through the contact lens. It's like that. There's just blurry spots everywhere. That's how it was today, blurry spots. But yeah, kind of glad that those come before because it lets you know one is on the way. And like even right now, it's not hurting really bad because I, you know, caught it in time, but I just feel kind of dizzy, kind of woozy like, and still like you can't move your head fast. Y'all know how it is if you get them, it's craziness. But anyway, I'm still gonna do some of the stuff on my list just because some of it needs to be done. All the other stuff that, you know, can wait for another day, we're gonna wait for another day. I laid down for about 30 minutes after lunch and then got up and cleaned out, which the kids cleaned most of their stuff up. There was just a little bit I had to finish doing. Now I'm gonna go change. And we're just gonna do a few things on this list and then probably go sit on the porch for a little while until it's time to cook supper. Tonight we're making the fried spaghetti that we were talking about yesterday. I'm pretty excited about that. I've never made fried spaghetti before, although it kind of seems like it's a baked spaghetti, but you make it in a skillet and you let the noodles cook with the sauce and stuff in the skillet for a little bit. So it says the noodles get a little bit of a, I can't remember the word they used. It wasn't crispy. Crispy is in my brain, but as you know, whenever you have these headaches, sometimes your brain isn't working right. <laughs> they get a little bit of a different texture with the fried spaghetti, but it's uh, after you cook it in the skillet, then you put it in the oven. So I think it's going to be good. It sounds good. Okay, before I go change, let's figure out what we want to do on here, y'all. Yes, I'm still using the Christmas notepad. <laughs> Laundry definitely needs to be done because I started the uh, my sheets in the dryer this morning and I have another set that I can put on there but I hate those y'all because they're just so hot and the other ones that I have in the washing machine are cotton and so they breathe really well but the other ones are like uh what are those other ones? Y'all I know the name I can't think. What are they? Uh, flannel. Flannel. That's it. They're flannel. And it's just, it's getting too hot for that. <laughs> Sweeping back. I'll sweep in my room. I'm going to save the vacuuming for tomorrow because loud noises. I'm not feeling that right now. <laughs> sweep the porches. I did that yesterday. So we'll wait and do that tomorrow too. Oh, there was a water spill in the refrigerator that needs to be wiped out. I'll probably go ahead and do that. That'll only take a second. <laughs> Top of the refrigerator, we'll probably do that. I'm going to circle the ones we're going to do. Oh, wait, I messed up. I started circling what I was going to do, and then I circled more things that I wasn't going to do. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, these headaches make your brain not work correctly, and you can't even focus. Okay, we're circling the ones we're doing tomorrow. Vacuum the stairs, we'll do that tomorrow, too, because we just did that, like, I think on Friday, so we'll do that tomorrow. Fold clothes in the basket. I have some clothes in the, we'll probably, we'll do that one. Dust living room and kitchen. We'll save that for tomorrow. The school books on the bookshelf need to be organized. We'll do that tomorrow. Clean windows and door on doors. That's obviously happening tomorrow. <laughs> Garage tomorrow. I was just going to sweep it pretty much because 
there's not really a lot that needs to go on in there. It just needs to be swept. Change shower curtain. I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, vacuum. Yeah, I'll work tomorrow. Mop laundry room tomorrow. Wipe the coffee table in the living room. There was a spill on the bottom of it. We'll do that today. Wash eggs. We'll do that today. I have so many eggs over there. And I know that some of them have already been over there for close to two weeks. Because I've been using the ones that we had in the refrigerator. So, I need to at least wash the oldest ones over there and get them in the refrigerator clean out the fridge tomorrow and clean coffee pot and get it ready for in the morning we'll do that okay now i'm gonna make myself a new list because this will be confusing okay see we brought that down to a very small doable list on this day of foggy headedness i'm just glad i'm not in a lot of pain i can take the foggy headedness that's fine She flew up there. Well, I hope it's a she. <laughs> See, it's a she. Got you. Boy. Be very gentle. Yeah, they gotta stay up here. There might be some hawks flying around. The ones that are solid black are not Easter Eggers. Titus actually got these from Tractor Supply the other day. He couldn't remember the name of them, but he said that they lay extra large brown eggs. And they're all female. You wanna try to pet them? They're getting bigger and they can do a lot more, huh? Cece and Jonah are out there playing with the ducks. The ducks went in the pond yesterday, y'all. We didn't even put them in there. It's like they just automatically know this is where we belong. <laughs> We're gonna see if they go in today. Hello, Miss Turkey. She already laid an egg this afternoon. Jonah brought it in earlier. There they go. I can see we all did not change our clothing before we came outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they like to do. They like to dip their heads under the water. They're eating stuff in there. Probably eating a few of those tadpoles. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, y'all, we've been back inside for a little bit. I wanted to keep on sitting out there on that porch, but I know these boys are gonna be coming home hungry in a minute. So we're gonna go ahead and make this fried spaghetti. I already cooked up the pasta. When we came back in, I just went ahead and started it over here. So it's ready. Now we're gonna cook the ground beef. I have two and a half pounds here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up an onion and some garlic. Then we'll shred some mozzarella cheese. Now this is gonna be a homemade sauce in here. If I had jarred pasta sauce, uh, I would totally use that this time, y'all, but I don't have any, so we're going with the homemade. So yeah, I'm just going to chop up this small onion and this garlic, and then we'll add it right over in here with the ground beef. Now, I might have to use two skillets because this one might get too full, so... I have my smaller one if I need it. I'm also gonna make some garlic bread. Uh, and I did look at the recipe and it did say crispy, y'all. It said crispy yet tender noodles. There's the onion. And it's kind of like a one skillet dish besides you have to go ahead and cook up the pasta. Other than that, everything we're gonna make the sauce and all in this skillet with the ground beef. So it's almost a one pan supper. So we're just gonna cook this until the ground beef is done. Then we'll drain it and start adding in the stuff for the sauce. While this is finishing up, I'm gonna go ahead and shred the mozzarella. And I need to preheat the oven to 350. All right, so I got the ground beef drained. Now we're gonna start adding in the seasonings. We need one teaspoon of dried parsley flakes, one teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of dried basil. I don't have any dried, so I'm just gonna put in a little bit of fresh basil real quick, because I have my little basil plant over here. Oh, that smells so good. I love basil, y'all. There we go. A pinch of red pepper flakes. I'm just gonna shake a few in there. Some salt and pepper. I'm doing like half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of pepper, just a little shake of paprika. All right, I'm gonna mix this all together. Then we're gonna start adding the tomato sauce. I'm gonna make the meat and sauce mixture first, and then when we get ready to add the noodles, I'm probably gonna have to get that other little skillet too, and we'll just have two of them. I'm gonna start with four cans of tomato sauce, and we'll see if we need a little more. Or actually, I'm gonna mix in three first, and we'll, we'll see if we even need that fourth can. All right, we're gonna put in one can of diced tomatoes. Oh yeah, so see, as you can already tell, we're definitely gonna have to have that other skillet because I can't even fit any noodles in here right now. I'm gonna turn it up to medium. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this into the smaller skillet. Now we're gonna put in some of the spaghetti. You can see we're already coming back up to a simmer here. And we're gonna let it start frying on the bottom. Then I'll mix it around a little bit, try to flip it as much as possible. Let it do a little fry in there. Then we top it with Parmesan and the mozzarella cheese that we shredded and it goes in the oven for just 10 minutes at 350. I don't think we need that other can of tomato sauce. It's pretty moist. Yeah, I think we're good.
Okay, y'all. Titus and Jacob and Tyler are still not home yet, but this is great. It tastes oh, like yeah. a spaghetti. Yep, we are home. It tastes like a spaghetti that I had from somewhere years ago, and I've never been able to recreate that spaghetti, but this is it. They made fried spaghetti. That's what they did. It is really good, y'all, and I'm having a feeling that Titus and the boys are probably getting them something to eat from somewhere, but that's fine because leftovers tomorrow. At least for lunch anyway. Maybe even we'll just save it until supper. Jonah and Cece wanted to eat theirs on the back porch. Was it good? Yeah. Can they go up there? Yeah, you want to go on the porch? I want you to get to the Oh, you want to see them. Okay. 